Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're going to be taking a first look at a brand new game which isn't out yet, so this also doubles as a sneak peek, uh, and that game is a game I've been looking forward to for quite some time. It is developed by every single soldier, so th those are the developers of Afghanistan 11, Vietnam 65, and Carrier Deck, and it is uh, called Her Majesty's Ship, uh, HMS for short. This is a game that basically is, is similar to Carrier Deck in some regards. There's a, a crew management element to it, but it's not sort of this uh, kind of on-the-rails, uh, scripted, you know, click-fest in the way that Carrier Deck kind of was. Um, this is a very much more of an open-world type crew management game, which basically makes you a officer in the Royal Navy. I believe you start off as a captain or, or something to that effect. And you are trying to get to the rank of Fleet Admiral. And you essentially have to sail around in an open world, uh, accomplishing feats, uh, following orders from the Admiralty, uh, succeeding on various missions, all while keeping your crew happy, fed, drunk, uh, and also uh, maintaining your ship to ensure that it is ready to fight. Uh, and you battle various enemies, uh, and at times you have to battle the environment, at least it seems. Uh, there's sort of a, uh, a rough seas or, a, or a, a bad weather piece of this game as well. Uh, where, at the end of the day, again, you're, you're competing to try and get to Fleet Admiral as you basically try and build your own Horatio Hornblower type character. Um, so it's an interesting looking little game. I've played around with it a little bit. I've played through the tutorial. And I think the tutorial does a good job of kind of laying out some of the things you should be doing. And it's pretty quick. It also dumps you into the regular game uh, once you complete the tutorial. So I think that's what we're going to go ahead and take a look at today. And then we're also going to probably play a little bit past the tutorial as well. So just as a quick call out, this game does support multiplayer. I think this is an interesting element to the game. And you'll, you'll kind of see how as we get into the game where multiplayer could kind of fit in. Uh, you also can play a single player mode, which allows you to pick any nation of either Britain, Spain, France, or Portugal. Uh, and allows you to play against up to three AI characters, so presumably multiplayer would be supported up to three as well. Uh, there's an easy, medium, hard difficulty, and you can kind of just jump in. But what I'm actually going to do here is I'm actually going to go into the tutorial to kind of give you a, a look and feel of what this game will be like if you just kind of pick it up and play. Now, the game is not yet fully completed. I think this is a beta version. You saw it was build 0.14. Um, and again, I did get early access to this from the developer. I was given permission to stream this or, or record this and, and post this early. So just keep in mind, this isn't the final version of the game yet. It's not the 1.0 version. You can see as you jump into the tutorial, you get a qu quick little brief overview and you get these different cards that pop, pop up throughout the tutorial. So again, it's going to give you some of the basic information that I already did. The objective is to reach uh, uh, rank of Admiral of the Fleet before any other player. So again, it's a competitive game where you're managing your crew and your ship, but you're trying to do it faster and better than your opponents. In the tutorial, there's two players. There's yours truly, who's playing as Britain, and then there's one AI character uh, for Spain. Um, before any other player. To achieve this, you'll need to carry out orders from the Admiralty and at the same time look after your crew's morale and ensure that the ship under your command remains afloat. Okay, so this is our ship. Oh, okay. There's 17 stations on every ship, each uh, having a specific requirement and outcome when selected. Hovering over a station will display the station name, the crew resource requirement, and the result of the order. Simply click on the highlighted station to issue the order. Hovering over a station for two seconds results in the explanation of the station. So you can see here, uh, it's going to have us um, kind of walk through some of the icons on here. I'm just going to walk you through these. On the top left here, this little green crate is your food icon. That's how much food you have left in the stores. The icon to the right of that is how much rum you have. Rum is very important, and we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, to the right of that is how much gunpowder is on your ship. And then, obviously, this little bag of coins is how much money you have. Money is very important in this game, as you'll see very soon. You need money to buy new stores. You need money to buy new rum, new gunpowder. But you also need money to sort of entice new crew members to sort of buy promotions and your work your way up to the top of the Admiralty. Uh, and also to do a host of other things. Um, then to the right of that is this icon that the tutorial is kind of calling out. This is the damage to the ship. This is basically your hull integrity. So right now the hull integrity is 90, 100 is perfect, and 0 is when the ship sinks. To the right of that is sort of your ranking points, I think. So like how many points you have to leveling up to the next rank. Uh, then the next one over here with the 50% is the crew morale. 
uh, followed up by sort of uh, crew experience, I believe. And then to the right over here is the crew members on your ship. So right now we have one officer, five sailors, one out of two potential officers on the ship, five out of six potential sailors, and zero out of zero out of three potential marines. So the game is telling us to kind of take a look at the hull. The hull is at 90%. And what it's going to do is it's going to walk us through actually repairing that, that hull. So as you take damage and whatnot, your ship's hull strength can go down. And you need to make sure you manage that by having crew members go down to the ship, right quarters of the ship, down here in the bottom left, to repair the ship. So go ahead and all we have to do is hover over the icon for the, the part of the ship that we want to do something with, left click on it. And then automatically, the crew members are going to go down there and start working on repairing the ship. Uh, here you're getting a call at, here's the ship's morale. It's at 50%. And what the ship's going to tell us to do, or what the game's going to tell us to do, is it's going to tell, you know, let's give people a tot of rum. Um, so we have two uh, things of rum in the cargo hold. And what we're going to do here is we're going to give a tot of rum for every man. Uh, which essentially is this sort of time-honored tradition in the British Navy of uh, splicing the main brace and sort of uh, giving crew members rum as a, as a reward or a, uh, a thing, I guess, if you will. Um, and what you can do is if you see this morale starting to drop, then you can issue rum and that makes sailors happy. So you can get to a sailor's heart essentially by giving them more rum. Another way to get to a sailor's heart is by giving them extra food. So you can see down here on the bottom right is the galley on the ship. This is where you manage your crew rations. So crew rations are kind of set by default. Uh, currently they're at standard rations, which is right here. Uh, and then we can do double rations, which are over here. So you can see the uh, sort of cons the morale impact each one of these rations uh, settings has. This is a plus six morale. Uh, I guess this would actually be slightly enhanced rations will be plus three. So I think this is double rations with rum. The, the double rations is plus three, the standard rations is zero, and half rations is negative six. So all we have to do is click on this double rations with rum icon here, and then we click this little checkbox double here, and then we'll please. immediately improve the amount of rations that we're giving to our crew. Uh, throughout the game, various events will occur on your ship, so you'll get sort of admiralty or sort of storyline orders down here on the top left, or, or on the bottom left. On the top right up here is sort of your existing events that occur, and you have to accomplish the event before this flag reaches the deck. So essentially, the, the timer or the, the sand glass uh, counting down is this flag going slowly down the map, and this flag represents essentially a dressing down. We need to uh, sort of whip someone. We need to give them the cat of nine tails. Um, so that's the event that we have to do. Uh, we get a reward if we uh, succeed in the mission. If we fail in the mission, we get a penalty. Um, so the reward... I don't quite know what the reward is. I don't know what this star thing looks like. A reward is a wounded crew member? And a failure is a penalty of morale, I guess? So essentially you can see here that we, we get that event and then the game is telling us to issue that order to complete the event. We have to go down here and you'll get different uh, um, different cues for different events that occur. But you can see here we're going to go ahead and strap someone up to the uh, to the grating and then they're going to go ahead and whip the, whip the crew member. Um, the, crew ma the captain has to be on the bridge to steer the ship. Uh, he stays at the wheel unless you give him an order that he or she or no other free officers can do. So essentially, if we want to if we want to sail, we have to have the captain at the wheel, which is relevant because like if we go down here and we tell him to go down to the officers' quarters to train the officers, then uh, he'll leave here if we don't have enough officers to do it. Okay, so uh, in addition to all of that, the tutorial is now telling us basically if we want to set sail, we've got to go ahead and uh, tell the the crew members to drop the sails. So we can see here, uh, all we have to do is go ahead and click on this icon here, and then the crew members will go ahead and climb the the whatever you call it, the rigging, and they'll drop the sail. All aloft, sir. Uh, it's a, this is a two-masted ship, by the way, so there's actually two masts we can drop sails on. But when you drop sails, that allows you to start moving. If you want to move somewhere, though, you have to go ahead and click here on the lower right on the navigation map, and then you get the world map displayed here. So you see your current location, the location of the other ports, including your home port, location of forts, beaches, and shipwrecks. Uh, which I'm assuming, I haven't really engaged with any of these things, but I'm assuming you can attack forts. Uh, you can probably land landing parties on beaches. I guess that would be the logical thing. And maybe shipwrecks allow you to find gold or something. I I'm not really sure. I haven't engaged with that mechanic of the game yet. Um, and then also it'll show our current objective as set by the Admiralty and any ships currently within my detective detection radius. So there are other ships here, obviously. 
So what the game wants me to do is set a destination and click on the desired port or anywhere on the map to allow us to start sailing there. So right now it's telling us to sail over here, which is our home port. So we go ahead and click on that, and it's as easy as that. You see the ship is starting to sail because we've dropped the sails on the ship. Um, we can zoom out here for a better look at the map. You can see it's a not a huge map, but it's not super tiny either. And you can see all these other islands, all these different cities that are all over this map. Um, and I believe, like you can see over here, I'm assuming this might be like... Maybe we can harvest food from these banana trees, or maybe we can go to this shipwreck to see if we can find uh, gold or something like that. There's different information on different parts of the map as well. You can see here Spain as a city over here, and there's another warship over here. Uh, it looks like these are Dutch uh, ports, if you will. Um, there's some cross icons, so maybe there's a battle going on over here. Uh, but basically you can kind of scroll around and it's kind of like it has a little bit of a board game sandbox type feel to it You know, you can kind of zoom out and see everything almost like this was a little map on the uh, on the captain's table in his quarters With that being said we have reached our home port uh, as you can see here and we can go back to the world map uh, now that we're at port Anytime you enter port you do need to go ahead and lower the capstan So to do that you just basically click on the little capstan icon and as with any of the other crew stations, your crew will automatically just start doing the thing as soon as you click on it. Once we're at port, we can do things like raise new crew members, buy new uh, sort of uh, rations for the crew. Uh, we can recruit new officers, uh, purchase rank with gold. So at our home port, we can go over here and purchase rank to level up to the next level to work our way toward becoming a fleet admiral. All right, so... Now the game's going to ask us to go ahead and replenish the ship's store, so we'll go ahead and click on the market station. And as soon as we click on that market station, we can see one of our officers begins moving down the ship uh, in his neat little outfit uh, and walking toward the, uh, toward the, I guess, the gangway, and we'll move forward to the, uh, the marketplace. So you can see here right now the game is telling us we want to purchase three food, six rum, and three gunpowder. So we'll purchase three food. We'll purchase six rum. And we'll purchase three gunpowder. So we'll do that. It'll cost us 12 gold. We have 25, so we'll have sufficient money for that. You can see we have 13 gold left. That fills our stores out. You see our stores can carry up to 15 items. So we've got five food, seven rum, three gunpowder for a complete complement of 15. Uh, different size ships have different complements. So as you level up, you can get bigger and better ships. Currently, I think we have a third rate ship of the line under our command. But uh, as you level up, you will gain bigger and better ships. Meanwhile, this is the hotel, the inn, where you can go ahead and recruit more crew members. Uh, and it looks like it's two gold, I think, to do that. So you can see we'll go ahead and click on that. And again, you'll get the little uh, sort of, uh, not cutscene, but it pulls you back to the ship as your officer kind of uh, moves to the, uh, to the shore to recruit more crew members. It looks like we can recruit up to two more sailors. So I, I think that's, yep, two gold. And you can see here two more sailors are moving to the crew, which now gives us a full complement of six sailors. Uh, and nine gold. So now it wants us to set sail from our home port uh, and find glory and gain rank by carrying out orders from the Admiralty. So we'll go ahead and click on the capstan. And uh, just as a reminder, this is obviously very on rails. This is the tutorial. It's trying to teach you how to play the game. Capstan secured. Okay, so the capstan's secured, and now we can immediately, we get this option up here. Uh, it's kind of available when we click on, where is it? I think it's the bell icon here, which lets us sort of choose how we want the crew uh, allocated. Uh, we can, there's kind of a hot key rather than having to click on each mast to drop the sails. We can just click this button, and then immediately the crews will go to the mast and start dropping the sails. So we don't have to actually do that. Um, now, meanwhile, I already mentioned sort of the event uh, things that come up here. In order to get Admiralty Orders, which is sort of how you end up getting, you know, rank and leveling up, uh, you just click on the flag here when you see the British Ensign here, and then you will get Admiralty Orders. Once you get Admiralty Orders, they can be one of any kind of orders here. So one of your orders could be to escort a friendly merchant, attack an enemy merchant, intercept an enemy ship, build a fort, or attack a port. Uh, we gain rank, uh, which allows us to influence our, our promotion status. Um, but once we click on this Admiralty order here, we immediately see that the event flag over here is what triggers. So the Admiralty order starts over here, click on that, and it'll generate an event order. Our event orders to escort a friendly ship. And all we have to do is just click on that flag, and immediately, as long as we have sails set, 
our crew will start sailing toward that objective. And you can see the islands have moved away and we're starting to sail. If we go back to this map, we can see here on this map, we're currently sailing through a storm at the moment. But you can see, uh, it looks like actually we just found three food and four gold. I don't know what, we might have salvaged that from, actually I think there was a shipwreck over here, so I guess we salvaged that from the shipwreck. But you can see here we're sailing through that storm cloud and the game just automatically is sailing us to, to our direction, which is to, I guess, escort this merchantman or, or meet this merchantman. So you can see here we're sailing across the map toward our objective. We have a countdown up here. Uh, a green, I think, means you're on pace to do it in time, I think. Sometimes it shows red, um, so I'm not quite sure what that means. In the tutorial, I can't click back in to see the ship, but in the actual game, once you're out of the tutorial, you can kind of click wherever you want. So you can see here, we're getting close. That countdown's almost to zero. Once it is, we've succeeded the mission. The crown has given us plus 25 rank. That's this icon here. It's given us plus 10 crew morale, so we're up to 85%. And there was another perk there, but I missed what it said. So essentially, that's all you need to know to start playing the game. The, the game tutorial ends here. So it's saying this is enough to give you a working knowledge of running your own ship. In-game help screens will pop up when you encounter new combat or new situations for the first time. For example, combat. Remember to do the following. Ensure your crew morale is high at all times. Repair damage to your ship. Request Admiralty orders. Monitor event flags. And complete the tasks. Keep an eye on the alert flags and flick, fix issues accordingly. So... I think our orders are going to be over here where this just popped up on the map. I'm not sure if I can just like sail here and fight these ships. I'm not quite sure about all the components of the game. But you can see here we now have new orders to escort this friendly ship. So our... Um, and there's no Admiralty order, so they immediately went over to here. So we are in the process of getting there. You can see the flag is slowly moving down, but again, the countdown uh, is in green. So I think we're in good shape. The sails are all set, we're moving, you can see the wake in our ship, and then we can kind of take a look at some of the different crew quarters. So earlier we saw that there's a shipwright quarter. In addition to that, there's a cargo storage hold down here, uh, which I don't, I don't, I'm not quite sure if I click on that. Stock of food, rum, and gunpowder stored here. The station's only used when the player wishes to jettison cargo off a ship, so I'd rather not jettison. Uh, and it'll also give us a warning icon if we're running low. Um, so that's good to know. Uh, in addition to that, uh, there's a brig down here, so occasionally you'll get events around crew members who need to be sent to the brig. Actually, this is, we've got another, there's a floatsome, so we need to go ahead and send the longboat crew. So we got another event that popped up here, so in addition to our mission, our escort-friendly mission, we have this floatsome objective that came up, which will give us a positive one rum and positive ten morale. Uh, if we had failed, it would have hurt our morale, so you can see that was just a random event that popped up. So we have our brig down here, our brig down here, which is what we deal with when we get punishment events, and we can send people to the brig. We just succeeded that admiralty order again, plus ten crew morale, four gold, and one gunpowder, as well as twenty-five more rank. And again, we just click up here for the new admiralty order, and just like that, we've got another mission to escort a friendly ship. So we've got the countdown down here. It's going to take about another minute to get in place. So if we go to the galley here, we click on this. You can see here, to set the rations, we can set them to... I don't even know what these different ones are. I guess I'm going to lower the set consumption a bit. Rations Standard rations. Oh, shit. Combat. So let's go ahead and send our crews to the guns. All we have to do is click on the guns. You can see when you have combat, you get a little pop-up down here. And you also get sort of a, a countdown that tells you how long you have to get your crew to, uh, to combat stations here. So now we are in combat with this enemy ship over here. It doesn't look like it actually has... Oh boy, we lost one crew member killed, our officer wounded, and another crew member wounded. The enemy ship was sunk, however, but we did also lose 20 hull damage. So with that being said, let's go to the sick bay. Um, not available this time of day. So there's also sort of a night phase to this game, where um, basically at night you kind of pull up the sails and stop sailing. Which I think was true at certain times, but of the uh, of of sort of sailing ships where it wasn't uncommon to kind of slow down, but I'm not sure how how common that really was or not. All right, so I'm currently healing my crew members. Are there no wounded crew members left? There are no wounded crew members left. Okay. Alright, so I've got to get the crew back to the sails so we can start moving again and we can get back to work on escorting that friendly ship. 
So you can oh, see we're moving awesome. again. Uh, I should also send some crew members down here to the shipwright uh, to not enough units available. Shit. I think because some of my crew members were killed in that battle, I need more crew members. I can't effectively man my ship. You can see here we've only got four out of a potential six crew members here. Why are we not moving? Sails furled, sir. Raise sheets and topsail. Why are we not moving? Aye, aye, All hands to make sail. All aloft, sir. Where the hell's the objective over here? New course, sir. All right, so we're back. Moving again. We have another clean the brig option which just came up. So hopefully we get here before our uh, before we fail. Yes, I understand. You can see the morale drop slowly over time as we spend more time at sea. Um, we've got 30 seconds. I don't know if we'll have time or not. We'll see. It's still green, which tells me it should be okay. But we'll see. The clean the brig one's going down pretty quick too. I don't want to stop our movement by giving orders to clean the brig if we haven't. Uh... Objective in sight, sir. Oh, it's gonna be close. They're both. We're gonna fail this one. The clean the brig is moving down more quickly. Winning the war, sir. Not enough units. Sales furled, sir. Quick, get down there and clean it. We don't have much time. Captain's rounds. At once, sir. You can do better. Ah, oh, we failed. All right, I think we need to head back to port. To be honest, I need you to get more course, crew sir. members. Need to replenish our losses. So we'll on. wait on taking more orders from the admiralty until we get a chance to uh, replenish our losses and fill out the crew a bit. You can see the crew is not happy. Their morale's down to 34%. If they fall to zero, you do get a mutiny. So that's another thing you have to be worried about. Vittles are critical. So we're almost out of food. The crew's pissed off. Um, yeah. We're going to have to go on half rations soon. What's this up here? Stores are extremely low. I mean, don't eat all the food, guys. We've got to head back to port. So I don't really know like what happens at All night though. Sir. I will say the one thing about like the All fact that your sails end up getting uh, furled at night is kind of weird to me because one, I feel like I don't remember hearing much about that in the age of Horatio Hornblower. This might be a little bit earlier. I think it might be 17th century is what it's supposed to be. Maybe 18th, early 18th. But... Um, the weird thing about it is that it doesn't seem like there's any other actions, at least that I've discovered, that you can take at night. So it's kind of like, all right, so it's night, and no one can sort of sail. But what, like, what should I, what should I be able to do um, when I'm when my crew is not at uh, when my crew is not on the sails when we're not moving. Should I be able to do something else? I don't know. And it seems like there really isn't that option. Away at the yes, right, so come on, drop the drop the damn anchor, and then we'll be back at port, and I'll give you guys some rum, and you can party, and you can be happy. Good to be home, sir. Captain secured. All right. A tot of rum for every man. Yes, sir. You are the captain, lads. All right, let's go get some more crew members. Longboat, bear off. You can see them parting down there in the galleys. So plus 20 morale, minus 1 rum. Alright, so they're recruiting more crew members. You can see we got two more crew members. We're also going to go ahead and get more stores. Uh, that gives us 13. Let's get more food, I think. Alright, meanwhile we have 21 gold. I wouldn't mind purchasing a new officer. There can only be one lowest rank officer. 
Well, then let's do the officer's wardroom. Can I level up my officer here? You can see, by the way, I'm up to uh, 65 rank. Now we can start ranking our character up. You can see you want to go to Commodore, then Rear Admiral, then Vice Admiral, then Admiral, then Admiral of the Fleet. And the first player to reach Admiral of the Fleet wins the game. Um, so we're training the officer. Hopefully he won't be of the lowest rank any longer. You can see he's over here. When you're ready, sir. Yep, okay, so now we can go ahead and get another officer. Because again, there's only certain things I can do. Like, I can't issue orders for my officer to do punishment or to uh, repair some of the ship or uh, like there's certain things I can't do without an officer and the problem is if we only have one officer then anytime you need more than one officer it you know you need to you need to rely on the the captain to sort of fill in why is this red and like things like training the crew so they can become so they can level up are things that you know require an officer all right, so I think, can I purchase a new rank? It takes 20 gold. I don't have 20 gold. All right, well, in that case, let's go ahead and uh, set sail, I guess. Get the new recruits to the mess. Aye, aye, sir. Sure party away. Actually, I'm going to go buy more food. Ship shape in Bristol fashion, sir. Good job, Bosun. I'd rather level the crew up one more time if I can. It's on cooldown for 10 more seconds. All right. One more food. Concluded, sir. We'll go ahead and get to sea. Heave away at the capstan. Yes, sir. Capstan secured. New orders from the Admiralty, sir. Set new course. Man the sail. At once, sir. Let's get the ship moving, men. Yes, sir. Your speed, you your ship speed is not enough to reach Admiralty orders on time. All aloft, but now they are now that we dropped the sails. All Our aloft, mission sir. is to escort friendly ships. So I think rest, your your orders probably will get a little bit more complicated as time goes on. Let's give them a little bit of rum to get them a little bit happier, and then we're going to go ahead and oh, listless. So we do want to execute the listless orders. So that's sort of another event. As you get different events that come up that you need to take care of, like up here you see it says listless, but you can also see that the ship icon here sort of is uh, is flashing or pulsing a certain color. So the game's secondary objectives, like if your guys need to be trained or something like that, will, will, will highlight another color to kind of tell you what you need to do. Also, for example, our ship is still only at 80% hull strength, so we're going to go ahead and send some folks down here to the shipwright to work on that to get us back up to 100%. Also, you kind of get different little things, like you can see a great white shark down here, uh, kind of sailing around, or swimming around. Objective in sight, sir. All right, so escort friendly convoy. We'll get a little bit of gold, and we'll get some gunpowder and other things like that. So we succeeded with that mission, and now we're just going to go ahead and another friendly escort mission. We haven't leveled up yet. We will be able to level up as soon as we get enough gold and get back to sea. So I think right now, just kind of to continue... Uh, doing some of these minor missions. This is very early game, guys. This is a pretty basic, quick look at this game, uh, but I do anticipate that the game will get a little bit more complex and a little bit deeper as we get a little bit further into it. Again, this is literally just out of the, the tutorial, and I think one of the interesting things with this game could be competing with other people, right? If you can be playing against three other people online and you're all sailing around on these different things, then you're going to get different objectives. You can see Spain over here, their rank is better than ours. They're actually currently a Commodore rank, so they're one ahead of us. And I don't know if this is like the other player or whatnot. I wonder if we could like engage them and fight them uh, and maybe sort of set them back if we sink them um, or not. I'm not quite sure how that works. All right, so we're going to go ahead and set new course. I think we've been promoted. Oh, yes, we have. You can see up here we were automatically promoted, so I didn't actually have to even buy my promotion. In this case, the Admiral just promoted... The Admiralty just promoted me based on merit, so... Um, I guess completing certain events, you can earn rank. Um, if the player is promoted whenever the rank score reaches 100. So when the score gets to 100, you're promoted automatically. But we can also, I believe, uh, purchase rank. Because when we were in port before, it told us if we spent 20 gold, we could have purchased the next rank up. So um, we got promoted on merit, but you can also buy your way to promotions. Okay, so we're on the way. I don't... Do you always have to every day set your orders to drop your sails again? I hope not. Uh, why is that red? 
Oh, also you can see as we have a new rank, we now can have up to three officers and up to eight crew members. So we can actually get more um, get crew members uh, as we level up and rank up. So it's not just based on ship, it's also based on rank. Ship shape in Bristol fashion, sir. Okay, so our, by the way, we finished our shipwright work. We're up to 100% on the, the hull strength. Report to my cabin, if you please. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and train the officers to get them to increase their experience. And because we have two other officers, they can go to the officer's wardroom by themselves while the captain continues to man the ship. So you have the wardroom, you have the sick bay, you have the gun deck over here. Sometimes we get orders to do things like train the gun crews. Um, we can go ahead and do a galley inspection. So we'll go ahead and go down here. We're going to send some officers to do a galley inspection. Um... Up, Galley's when clean, ready, plus 10 level, plus 10 crew morale. I don't know why this is red, though. It's confusing to me. Um, so there's the galley, there's the brig, there's the cargo sir. hold, there's sort of the mess area, I guess. Um, you've got the hammocks, Land you've got the gun deck, you've got the capstan. Uh, you've kind of got up here, which I'm assuming is like these buckets look like they're cleaning. You've also got the sort of dinghy that can go down and send people out to pick up floatsum. There's the rum station, uh, which allows you to give crew members rum to make them happy. You've got the rating mess, which you use to sort of increase the crew experience. You've got the officer wardroom, which you use to increase the officer experience. You've got the uh, helm, where your captain sort of steers the ship. You've got uh, this bell icon, which allows you to kind of quick link and send crew members to the guns, send them to the sails, or kind of let them do other things. You've got the punishment station right here. Uh, in addition to that, there's this sort of tackle box thing here, which sometimes does things like with like ship repair or whatever. Um, yeah, so as you can see here, we have, if we look at our officers, we have uh, a level 3 officer and a level 2 officer. You can see the highlighted icon for the officers represents that. Sec if you go starting on the left, that's grayed out. The second one, and you've got a highlighted one. The one to the right, you have a highlighted one. So a level three officer and a level two. I don't know if that's like a second lieutenant and a, and a lieutenant, acting lieutenant versus a midshipman. I'm not quite sure if there are ranks there. And then if we hover over the crew, you can see we've got four basic non-rated seamen. And we've got two people with sort of the, the anchor icon, which I, I don't know what that is. I'm assuming S is seaman. Four Same might spurred, be sir. landlubber or something Same like spurred, that. Sir. And maybe the it's furthest to the right is like a master chief or something. Something like that. I don't know. All right, so Vittles are running low. We're at port. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, send people to the cap sense. Enough of me talking about the game without actually doing much. As soon as we can in the morning, we'll drop the capstan, and we'll go ahead and get our new ship. Heave away at the capstan. Very well, sir. You can see here we are at port. So as we drop that anchor, the port will, be co will come up, and you can see we're promoted to a second-rate well ship sir. of the line. Congratulations, so historically, second rates were like 80, 90 gun bridge. ships. They were a little bit smaller than the HMS Victory. But you can see here we've got a slightly bigger ship. I don't know what this is. I guess it's just something ashore. That's maybe the fort. Um, we also come, the ship comes fully stocked with new uh, rations and rum and gunpowder. Uh, what's this? What does that mean? Holland and Spain did something. I'm not sure what that icon represents. Alright, we're going to go get more crew members because we can have up to two more sailors. We probably want to get some marines too, right? How do I get marines? Maybe that's not available till we get a little bit further in the game? Longboat stowed, sir. Longboat stowed, sir. Oh, we can buy 20 rank. It's not a direct promotion. So we buy the rank, which moves us closer to 100 where we get promoted. Okay. In any event, let's go ahead and uh, set sail and we'll uh, do one more order, one more mission here in our new ship. I don't know if there's anything you can do with that. Choke block. So that's over here. We want to go ahead and choke a block Get those hatches secured. to secure At the once, hatches. All aloft, sir. And again, it moves us toward our uh, rank and will also give us better hatches experience secured, here. Order executed, sir. New orders from the Admiralty, so our new orders are to sir. escort a friendly ship, which is the same as last time. But again, I'm assuming this is the basic and easy version of the game as well, because this is straight out of the tutorial. This We didn't set this up as a separate game. 
You can see, obviously, the hold on the ship is much larger. Oh, this is where we train Marines. So there's an armory down here. So we could actually Let's train a Marine, I guess. You, Let's I make Marines say, out of you, lot. I don't know how many Marines we're going to make, or if we even really want to. It's going to take away from our sailors, or our seamen. Storm directly ahead. You can see here we're training them to fight. Marines I mean, that's formed up, sir. obviously not how you form a Marine, but... Why are these guys red? Get the new recruits to the mess. Yes, sir. You are the captain, lads. Let's get a moving, lads. Aye, aye, sir. Ship shape in Bristol fashion, sir. Good job, bosun. New orders from the Admiralty, sir. Land ho! Set new course. All aloft, sir. Ship to larboard. Ship so, to you larboard. can see here we also have more guns on our gun deck. Sails furled, sir. Sails furled, sir. Land ho! Again, I don't know what the point of night is. Ship to larboard! It just seems... That's the one thing I don't understand about the game, is sort of the nighttime pe thing. Set new course. Get the new recruits to the mess. Yes, sir. Ship I'm trying to see if, like, if it's reflecting the fact that our crew members could be leveled up a little bit. Or maybe it has to do with the morale being low. Fashion, sir. Good job, Bosun. Um, those must be like boarding pikes or something. It's interesting. I wonder how much more Let's complex the combat gets. Let's give everybody some rum. Let's make them a little bit happier. We haven't given them rum in a little while. Let's get the ship moving, men. At once, sir. I mean, I'm all for giving you guys rum, but can we please, like, keep moving? Rum stowed away, sir. Good job, bosun. Man the sails! Right away, sir. All aloft, sir. Get the new recruits to the mess. So you can see here we've got one master seaman, it looks like, one seaman, or one seaman, one anchor, and one double anchor, whatever the hell that means. Alright, so four more gold, ten morale, twenty-five level up. We'll just kind of keep doing this. Ooh, we've got a court-martial to do. Where is that done? Court-martial can all right, folks, we need to convene a court-martial. So we've got one officer in here to con conduct the court-martial, and then we've got an officer, or a, a member of the uh, crew that is going to go to the brig. If we fail, I guess someone the dies. Of of very clear. Clap him so in we're going to see this individual go down and be clapped in irons. We also have a loose cannon, so well, we need to go ahead and... Uh, establish that. You can see the crew member who is in the brig now is down here in the chop block, and you can see these other crew members are working on the loose cannon to secure it. I don't know why they had to fire it to secure it, but they did. Objective in sight, sir. Winning the war, sir. Click to cancel. So someone's going to go down there to the member in the crew. Or the the brig. New orders from the Admiralty, sir. Ooh, we have orders to build a fort. Not sure how that works. So how do I build a fort? How the hell do I build a fort? Ooh, there's pirate ships too. New course, sir. Land ho! Where am I supposed to build the fort? Is that at our at a, is that our New home course, port or? Sails furled, sir. Sails furled, sir. New course, sir. Not available this time of day. Okay, so there's the fort that we can build. It's going to take one gunpowder and five gold, so we have enough to do that. So we'll go ahead and execute that. And you can see that we're going to send some people down onto the longboat, which are going to go ashore, and then they're going to start building this thing. 
Meanwhile, let's go ahead and uh, train some crew. So you can see they went ahead and they landed ashore, and they're now going to build the fort. So the longboat is in use building that fort. So success. There you go. We built the fort. We lose the we lose a marine though, unfortunately. So apparently that crew member stays permanently ashore as a member of uh, the garrison there. So let's actually head back to port. And let's get some more crew members, because we're three crew members shy of a full sailor complement, we're three marines shy, and we're two off, or an officer shy. So I guess we lost one of, no, we didn't lose, did we lose one of the officers? No, we didn't, we never had the three. We need to keel haul. Commence punishment. Commence punishment. So someone else committed a crime that desires being keel hauled. Alright, so all crew to witness punishment. Punishment is going on. Lashings administered, sir. Apparently that gives us morale. So now he reports to the sick bay. And then we'll send an officer to go heal him. So an officer goes down there. And there you go. Looks like we have a long shot. I don't know why we're doing a long shot at port. But it'll give me crew experience. So, okay. Is that like a competition or something? Secured, sir. I don't know. Awaiting orders, so you sir. can see up here, this is officer training that occurs at the Report wardroom station to kind of level up our officers. Books, um, Get the new to the mess. What's our crew aye, aye, at right now? Three landlubbers, one sailor, and you're ready, two sir. the better. So you, your first mate has reached the rank ship, of commander. Ship, Do you want to release him to command his own ship. I don't know what happens when we release him to command his own ship. Ooh, we get a squadron now. So you can actually build a squadron of multiple ships here. So we've got two ships now currently under our command. I don't know if... I, I don't think I can directly command... Like, I don't manage his ship, but I can at least tell him where to go, I think. So interesting. All right. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, call that, uh, call that a, a video here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and return to the main menu. An interesting looking little game. Um, it, it's the kind of game that I think can go fast. Uh, but I like the idea of the competitive nature of being able to play other people online. That could be fun to kind of do like a multiplayer thing and see who can level up. Um, some of the tasks on the ship might get a little bit repetitive. But I think the game showed some of its potential there at the end as you started to see things like building forts. Or as you started to see things like building a squadron and leveling your officers up so they can command their own ships. I think this game has a lot more potential than you might see in the first 20 minutes of the video. Uh, it's definitely something that I think if you stick with it could be a pretty entertaining thing. This game to me feels a lot deeper than something like Carrier Deck. But maybe not quite as down to the, down to the weeds as something like Afghanistan 11. Obviously the Afghanistan 11 and Vietnam 65 games are very much in their own vein of sort of a counterinsurgency game, whereas his ma her, her Majesty's ship is more in a crew management game. But it's not just a click fest like uh, like uh, you know I kind of felt like Carrier Deck could become. I enjoyed Carrier Deck a lot as as kind of more of a time killing thing or, or almost like a just sort of a casual game if I if I don't have much to think about or much to do. I think Her Majesty's ship could end up becoming quite a time sink. Because it is more open world, it is more about building up your own reputation, ranking up, leveling up, while at the same time uh, sort of building out your crew and, and you know building your own uh, followers. I think the fact that your own crew members can become commanders of their own ships is very Nelsonian in a way. You know, if you read about like Horatio Hornblower or Jack Aubrey, there's this idea of being, you know, one of your own. These officers you raise up who then become commanders of their own ships and sort of you build your own cult within the Navy. You know, there was always these ties or call back to officers who had served under Nelson. You know, there was kind of uh, one of Nelson's own is a phrase that you would hear at times. So I think that's kind of a cool little factoid that's built into this game in a way and I think I'm, I'm pretty impressed with my initial impression of the game. Again, it's not the release version. It's it's a pre-release version. Uh, and I do want to thank the devs for giving me an early access. Uh, there certainly was no requirement to speak positively about this. I and mean, these are just my own genuine opinions. Um, but yeah, it's probably not a game for everybody. You know, it's, it probably fits the, the niche of folks who are more interested in sort of crew management and juggling multiple tasks and, and kind of moving forward. And 
Uh, but overall, I'm pretty impressed and, and kind of enjoy my first look. So with that being said, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below. Is this something that kind of intrigued you? What did you think about the game as sort of it unfolded and, and we kind of learned more about it? Uh, or is this something that, uh, you know, wasn't, wasn't so intriguing to you? Let me know in the comments below, and uh, I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Uh, until next time, though, guys, I think sort of the plan today uh, is obviously Her Majesty's Ship is posting today. I think my plan will be to have War in the Pacific, the next update to post tomorrow, and then um, we would get to a strategic command video and then back to We the Revolution. I don't know, guys. I'm kind of trying to juggle like four games right now into the channel schedule. I don't want to overwhelm people by posting more than one video per day, but I also don't want to lose the momentum we have behind We the Revolution because it seems like there's a lot of interest there. On the counter, there's a lot of interest with the Strategic Command series. I'm getting a lot of questions on when the next video for that will come out. And above all of that, we've got this long-running War in the Pacific series. So I think what I'll do is on the Tortuga Discord that I share with Tortuga, I'll, I'll try and start putting together a schedule that kind of outlines where and what I'm going to be posting uh, and, and that might give you guys a little bit more guidance on that but tentatively obviously Her, Her Majesty ships today uh, War in the Pacific tomorrow because I need to get the turn back to XTRG and then Strategic Command so Tuesday Her Majesty's ship that's what you're watching right now Wednesday uh, War in the Pacific Thursday Strategic Command Friday uh, We the Revolution and we'll see where we go from there uh, with that being said, I appreciate you guys tuning in, and until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.